Hi, welcome back to another unboxing here at Nexus Core. My name is Richard, and today I'm going to be unboxing the latest booster set, uh, Butterfly to Moonlight, or Butterfly to Moonlight. Uh, it's the Pale Moon and Grand Blue set uh, that comes with both Dark Irregular and Murakumo, but obviously the most advertised thing here is both Harry and Night Rose. But we got um, Sharhot Vampire and um, Yasui in here as well, so... Uh, look forward to seeing those coming back. And before I get into this unboxing, I want to give a big shout out to Triple Sleeve TCG. If you guys don't know already what Triple Sleeve TCG is, it is an online website. What Triple Sleeve TCG does is they allow you to get a playset of every card that you need from a specified booster set of a specific clan. So you go on in, select the clan you want, and it'll give you the price amount of how much it will be to get a play set, so four copies of every single card that comes in that set, so that whenever you need to update your deck, you got all the copies you need right away. So go ahead and check out Triple Sleeve TCG, and thanks again to them for providing me with this box. So let's just jump right into the unboxing. Today's special tool to open this box is a knife. Can you say knife? Alright, get the plastic off. Ugh. Pop it open. Alright. Ooh, cool. So our special die. We got darker regulars. Nice. Very cool. So seems like this is a very consistent thing that I'm liking so far getting these clan die. Please, Lord. Let me get the gold palette and die <laughs> from a box. Please. I just want one. Um on the back of this thing, it's the anime Vanguard If, some mobile game, and advertisements for Vanguard Zero. Um, gifts, and it looks like there's a quick shield in there, so I'll just pop this open real quick. All right. A uh, special gift looks like to be Protect 2, Protect Gift, and quick shield. So double markers there, pretty cool. So, let's just pull all these out, make it easier for ourselves. So, it should be 10 per side. Yeah. Alright, cool. So, let's just get started. Alright. So, while I'm doing this, you guys should leave comments on uh, what booster sets you're looking forward to. I'm assuming it's going to be the Luard set, because, you know, everybody's got money to buy Luard. Uh, let's see. Common... Common. Yeah, Murakumo common. Uh, treasure! Wow. Cool, so these are the new tokens that are for basically all the seven C's decks and cards. This is my first time seeing the artwork for treasure, actually. <laughs> That's really cool. It's like a Goonies vibe to it. I don't know why. Yeah, I know why. It's it's a Goonies vibe. Um, Malice of Nightmare Land, good heal trigger. Deflect Suite, and first pack, we get the VR. Incredible. <laughs> um, cool. Vampire Princess of Night Fog. Night Rose. Let's see. Uh, Vanguard Circle. When your rearguard attacks or boosts, uh, that unit gets 5k to the end of battle and retire that unit at the end of its battle. Really good. It's free. Uh, other skill. When it attacks, count plus one. Choose a column. Call up to two cards from your drop zone to that rear in that column, and if your opponent's grade is 3 or greater, uh, this unit gets 10k. That's actually really good, because if your opponent gets a damage trigger, you don't have to worry about that when you swing with Night Rose. Yeah, I can see why people really love this card. Yeah, combos really well. Yeah, this is a good card. This has nice artwork, too. Alright, cool. So let's move on to the next pack, because, you know, sets... So that's already, uh, box is already dead pretty much because I don't think we're going to be getting another three VRs like last time. Uh, Magia Doll, Dark Side, Mirror Master. This used to be the PG, but now it's a great one. Some common. A Seven Cs. It's not a starter, but it's grade zero. I like how they still made Night Runner a grade zero. Um, vanilla. Draw Trigger. Magia Doll. Uh, oh, this is an order card. Counterblast 1, 
um, if your soul has two or more cards of the same name as the soul charged card, draw a card. Okay, so obviously this caters more to darker regulars and maybe Genesis, but not really <laughs> going to see that much play. So those are the packs. All right, next up, a Murakuma Common, Whacking Franklin, another common, another common, more good heal trigger art, Flap Fixer. Let's see what this does. When your Vanguard's grade three or greater, this gets 10k shield. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. Um, and when placed from hand, search your deck for up to one grade three, put in your soul. Ooh, that's really good. I'm I'm obviously just thinking about um <laughs> uh what's that card? Death Anchors uh plays. Um Ooh, a double R. You must be good, right? Treasures. Uh, when it attacks, when its attack hits, uh, choose a, one of your van or rear without any treasure markers on it. Put a treasure on it. Okay, on hit, but whatever. When placed, Camelos 1, put two cards on the top of your deck into the drop zone. Uh, call it to one card of seven Cs, not named this card, from your drop zone. That's really good, actually. So, fills your board, on hit, has pressure, gives treasures. Cool. Cool, cool treasure card there. All right, next pack. Ugh. All right, more commons. Ooh, Grenache is the starter. So I personally liked Night Kid. So if I were a Grand Blue Mean, I'd still be running Night Kid. Nah, I'd probably run Grenache. <laughs> uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Ooh, Bamboo Fox, a nice heal trigger right there. I definitely do like this card. Uh, Negrobron, um, drop zone, discard a card from your hand, put this from the bottom of your deck, call a grade one for your drop zone. If your drop zone is 10 or more, you may call any grade instead. That's really cool, actually. Uh, and this thing, Ko Kodogu, at the end of the battle that boosts a grade two or greater rear guard, Kamos one, discard a card from your hand, search your deck for up to one card the same name as the unit that it boosted, call to an open rear. That's probably really good. Sounds good. All right. Next up. We haven't run into any triple R's, I don't think. Or I've already, already forgotten. More Magia dolls. Flying Parrington. Uh, when retired from the Guardian Circle, you may put this in your soul. That's pretty good uh, for a common. Uh, when placed by the ability of your unit with Harry in its name, draw a card. So not budget, because you have to buy Harry. <laughs> Franklin thingy. A Murakuma card with really cute art. Huh. When wrote upon... Oh, it's a starter. <laughs> I was like, wow, this is really cute. Completely ignored it. It's a grade zero. Yeah, I like this art a lot. Skeleton C Navigator. Rest two rear guards. Put five cards on the top of your deck in your drop zone. What? Well, that's, that's so turbo. Wow. All right. Oh, cool! Nightmare Land crit and Star Pop Dragon. It's Harry's Dragon. Uh, this unit gets 5k for each of your rear guards with Magia Doll in their different names. And when placed on the stage, you get Imaginary Gift Excel. So I think the stage is the thing where you just combined all your Excel gifts. Um, when it attacks, if this unit's power is 40,000 or greater, until the end of the battle, this unit gets plus one crit and your opponent cannot call sentinels from his or her hand at the end of that battle, retire this unit. All right, cool. Uh, I'm sure there's some plays that I'm not seeing here, but there's a lot of text that this card does, so I'm assuming you can do some wacky stuff with this. Uh, let's see, next pack. All right. Gravitate Core Master, which of the seven seas of vanilla, another ghost ship, pulse taker, I see a PG there, some rare. Oh cool. So we got Rampage Shade, the critical sentinel. So crit sentinel, going to have four sentinels, has thirty thousand shield. And I've seen a lot of lists, like Japanese lists, when I was still checking out them on Twitter. Uh 
with a lot of people running a lot of crits in the Night Rose deck. Like, they'll do two of this and two PGs. Or, I don't, I don't know what, I don't, I don't know what it is, but there's a reason people are running these crits in Night Rose. I don't know what it is. I'm sure once I find out, it'll make sense, but yeah, these crits are good for Night Rose. All right, cool. We're almost halfway done. So next pack, Murakuma card, Ghosty card, common, oh, cool. Where Final Ordinaz, the old uh, starter for Dark Regulars. Blending Burner, and that one Murakuma card. Cool. So, simple pack. Nice clean cut there. <clears throat> Starting off with Treasures. Uh, vanilla Murakuma card, the starter again. Flame Rowdy. Uh, ooh, I like that. Heal art a lot. That's really, I mean, the lion just kind of stuck out to me, but this is really, really, really cute. Um, some Pale Moon card and Backward Arrester. Uh, when this boosts right Arrester or left Arrester, if you have a Vanguard with Dueling Dragon, Soul Charge 1, and the boost unit gets 10k. That's uh, pretty cool. It's really cool because you, know, you can just search out Arresters. So just getting a bunch of Arresters now. Cool. All right, we're halfway through the box. I uh, still don't think we've seen any. Oh, I could feel there's a card stuck in that gap right there. Good thing I shook it out. I haven't seen any triple R's yet, so still got a ways to go. A ghosty card, gouge, vanilla, some common. I really like this art because it's a it's a mimic, critical trigger, night crow. Okay, uh, I'll read what it does. When this attack hits, choose one of your Vanderbilt without any treasures, put any treasure marker on it. Okay, so they all have that basically the same skill. Tribe Zone, if you have a Vanguard with seven C's in its name, Soul Blast 1, retire Rearguard with seven C's, and call it. So, as is tradition, Night Crow brings itself back. Oh, next double R, cool. Dark Side Sword Master. That's cool. I like that art a lot. Wow. That's a really, really good art for a critical trigger sentinel. Very nice. Cool. So, Pale Moon Sentinel thingy. And yeah, I think that was it. Cool. On to the 12th pack. Starting with another treasure. Yes, we are. Treasure, Master, Vodou, Stamper. That's cool art for a draw. Negro Lazy. Uh, when placed, you may call it grade zero from your drops on the rear. It's okay. They really, really murdered the boy with this skill, didn't they? Just went, hey, remember that card that was really, really, really good? Uh, let's just make it really, 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 really bad. <laughs> um, that thing, and that's it. Cool. Next up. Oh, it's not a treasure. We got Flying Parrington, the Turbo the, um, Drop Zone card. Ooh, Happiness Collector! Aw, the memories that this card has with so many people. Uh, love the art. They really took their time to make this card look really, really, really nice. Coming to how childish the old one really looks. That's I really like this art. Uh, Moon Edge, some ugly thing. Nightmare Doll, Marion. Uh, Soul, when your Workeroid is placed on Van, call this card to rear. Uh, the ability can only be used by a card the same name once per turn. I definitely see more premium value out of this card, so. Oh, cool. First triple R. It's uh, Ataka, Ataka, the old stride fodder. So during your turn, if there are two or more units with the same name as your other units, this gets 5k. And then the other skill is, you know, when plays from hand, look at top five, search for grade three. If you add one to hand, you discard a card deck. Like all the other ones. All those other expensive you know, stride fodder cards. Uh, personal opinion, those should have been double R's. Not because of how, like, good they are, but just for ease of access, I think. They're just very... They're really good in every deck, and since they all... There is a version of it for every clan, pretty much. They should be easy to access. Also, they just should not be as expensive on the market, but, you know, everyone needs it. So, supply and demand, you know? 
commons, 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 front triggers. Did I skip a, yeah, some rare, a double R. Oh, Edge in the Darkness. This was a good grade one, I remember. Uh, Van, when play, draw a card, put a card in your hand in the soul. That's really good. Uh, rear, when play, soul charge one. If it was placed by your card ability, counter charge. Okay, cool. So if you call it from the soul, I'm assuming. Yes. Cool. Very nice card. All right. Lost track of how many packs we're on, but we still got, I think, five, five more? No, four more. This is the f first of four. Open that up. Tornado Genitor? I guess. All right, discard a card from your hand, soul charge two. Okay. Uh, seven C's card. Fres Bright Escaper. Don't know what that really means. Uh, a front trigger, good artwork heal. Stealth Dragon. Plumbane. When it attacks, count plus one, all your front row with the same name as this unit gift. Eh, okay, not really that great. A, Masquerade Bunny. So there's our second triple R. Um, one or more units were called from your soul this turn. Gets 5k, so that's pretty easy to pull off. And then the other skill, of course, you know, the one place from hand, look at top five, reveal a grade three, put in your hand, shuffle your deck, and then, you know, discard a card. Cool, so that's it. So that was, that was our two, two triple R's and the VR. So looks like we're not getting three VR's today, folks. <laughs> no, Tenio Genitor, uh, Vanilla, Grand Blue card, Common, Common, Good Artwork Heal, Skeleton Pirate Skipper. It's pretty cool art for a rare. Yeah, that's it. Uh, two more packs, two more packs. More Happiness Collector. Uh, seven Cs. Hmm. Does this look good? Let's see, when it attacks, Soul Blast 3, Grade 3s. Retire all your opponent's rear guards. If your job zone has 15 more cards, call 5 cards to drop zone. Okay, so it's a finisher. Oh, that's pretty cool. A one of, it's a, you know, you can tutor it out, because... Oh, it's on Van, though. Oh, hmm, okay, so yeah, not good. Uh, Hoopster, Barking Dragon Crit, Magia Doll, oh, Lunatec Dragon. Interesting, it became a grade two. Huh. When retired from the Guardian Circle, you may put this card in your soul. When placed by Billy of a card with Harry, choose up to one of your opponent's rear guards and your opponent has to put that into your soul. Oh yeah, it's like, that's whatever. Zantetu, double R, dueling dragon. During your turn, all of your units with the rest are in their names get 5k. Cool. Banner rear, if you have a Vanguard with dueling dragon in its name, put the top of your deck into your damage zone. Search your deck for up to two cards with the rest are in their name and call them. So it's a damage inducer. Gives you the arresters you need. So, okay. So you can pay costs with counterblast if you need to. Yeah, I because I, I remember one of the biggest things about playing against uh, Zambaku back in the day, like two years ago, I think, uh, the way you played against it was damage denying it so that you couldn't, they couldn't uh, use the counter blast repeatedly every single turn to um, pull off uh, the, the, the stun where you kind of, where they can counter blast three to stun your vanguard. But with this, if you literally one damage away from stunning your opponent's vanguard, you can, and preventing them from riding, you can do that. So that's really cool. So yeah, decent card. All right, and I think we are on the very, very last pack of this box. Let's see. That one card that seemed good, but it's not really good. Hoopmaster, Nightmare Land. Pulse Taker Draw Trigger. Oh, cool. Slash Shade. Uh, when it's that hits, you get a marker, treasure marker. And during a turn, if there is a treasure marker on this unit's circle, it gets 15k. That's really, really cool. So for 7 C's card. And... Oh, cool. So we got the Darker Regular Stride Fodder Grade 3 Searcher thing. Cool. So during your turn, one or more of your units was put into your Soul by Cards, but it gets 5k. 
cool. And then, you know, the other skill, the search of grade three. All right. So no outrageous ratios today, but let's go over basically the main important pulls. So obviously we got Night Rose, so that's really cool. For our triple R's, we got the Succubus of Pure Love and the Getaway Dragon Stealth Rogue and the Masquerade Bunny uh, triple R. So the three triple R's and the one VR. So this is a pretty simple box today. Um, but Night Rose is a really good pull for this box because it has a lot of popularity. So this is pretty good. I'm, very, I'm pretty satisfied with this box. Um, I'm not planning on building anything from this set, but um, I do think that this is a good set to invest in if you want to play any of these clans because this is some of some pretty big support for all three of them. Um, Night Rose is going to be pretty defining the meta, meta. Harry not so much, but Harry is a very popular card. And I know some people are really excited to be playing Pale Moon again with some wacky Harry stuff. Uh, Yasui is doing really good, so, and also, you just definitely want to pick up these grade 3 searches in general, and I know Darker Regular Shaharo is doing well as well, so, fun set. Thank you guys for watching, um, again, thanks to Triple Sleeve TCG for providing me with this box, I had a lot of fun in opening it, and you guys should definitely check out their website if you guys are looking to update your decks and want to get play sets of cards for your deck, so... That was it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.